Okay, welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm gonna just start this off by saying, last night got a little crazy. Uh, you know, AJ, he usually goes a little overboard when there are beverages involved, to say the least. So was Damien. Damien got a little wild. The Jenny like broke down on him at a gas station. He called us, I put that little clip in the other video, and then we went like bootleg ghost hunting in like AJ's upstairs part of his house. It got a little wild. I'll put in like a couple minute little clip right now of the activities from the other night. Today, someone broke into my house and stole over $500 worth of bullshit. <laughs> There's a ghost in here confirmed. It. No, but hold on. Can you see the ambiance of this room? Though? It's a little bit. It's sus. Someone died in this room. Yeah, 100%. Someone died. Someone in fucking this... levitated off of this bed, dude. And fucking For sure, their dude. Their head did a fucking tray flip. Dude, you see these posts? For sure, dude. The fact that this is like a seven bedroom house from the 1800s. Hey, is there anyone here with us? This app is fake. Hey, dude, listen. If this shit starts going off, the app is fake. Dude, the app, I just showed you it, the app works. It works with a magnet, yes. Yes, but that's, that's not, electromagnetic It's not field. strong enough to deal with it. The app is not... Is anyone here fucking... You cannot detect a ghost with that fucking app, dude. Maybe not with the free trial, dude. But <laughs> no, dude, wait, hold, hold, said, I haven't gone to You're class. telling me for $4.99, you can class. detect a ghost. No shot, dude. No shot. Oh! No! Oh! I don't know. It's still going down, dude. I, I think if we want to do this for real, we need the real detector. This is a real detector, dude. No, look. it's not. It was just read 666 on there, dude. That is not the real detector, dude. Dude, look. I'm fucking... The free no. trial, dude. Well, look at this. I just... I can't buy look it. Look at it, dude. There's no lights in this fucking closet. I cannot There's buy into it. There's only spiders in this fucking closet. I cannot buy into the fact that an iPhone app can detect ghosts. I'm letting them know that I'm gonna kick their fucking ass, dude. Oh, oh, here we go. AJ, you up here, dude? Come here. You gotta see these ghosts, dude. There's oh. no ghosts. No, nah, dude, I fucking found them. The app cannot tell. I'm you. ready to kick ass, dude. I am finally picking up new wheels for the vert, dude. Hopefully, in this video as well, Damien can finally finish the Forerunner, get it out of Chris's shop. So yeah, should be interesting. We'll pick these wheels up. I'll test fit them. Hopefully Damien finishes the Forerunner. And uh, yeah, I mean, all is well, all is well. Great night. Let's see what happens today. What do we got going on? South End Combies, Torrington, Connecticut. What kind of ragtivity we got in the area today? I already see people smoking bogues on the side of the building. All right, new wheels acquired. They're a little dirty, a little rough. I know they're making a bad first impression on video here because, yeah, they're, they're crusty, they're dusty, but underneath the layers of shite, they look pretty good. That one's kind of clean. As you can see, the vibe we're going for here, they're a little bit more, uh, you know, drifty style wheel with the spoke design and shit like that. But uh, what do we got for tires on here? Dunlop. What are these? I don't even know. SP Sport FM 901. They seem legit. Anyway, it's getting like obnoxiously hot out here and I'm blocking this business's driveway. So I got the wheels laid out here. I'm just gonna clean them up after further inspection. I don't think that I'm even gonna run the two good tires because you could see this one is just, that one's gone. I'm not even gonna waste my time with that one. I mean. These ones look okay. I was rolling them over here. I saw a couple little, you know, dry rotted spots, but luckily eBay, they sell cheap tires. So I think I'm gonna just get all four new ones. So I'm gonna just clean these up, soap them down. We'll see what they actually look like. Do they need to be resprayed? I hope not. This one's got like paint on it or something. I'm not sure what's going on there, but Damien is back at it for another day. Another day on the Forerunner. Yeah, dude. What are the odds this actually gets done today? I mean, I really just have to do the fucking valve covers and it's it's literally just the valve covers and that stuff, dude. And that, that stuff. little pile right there. Yeah, the intake. It's really like the upper, like the lower plenum's on, it's timed. 
I just ran out of steam last night, dude. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't down for it. Dude. Yeah. We had to go to AJ's. We were like three hours late to AJ's, and we show <laughs> up, and it's immediate fucking shen- uh, shambles, dude. Yeah, it was a good good night, for sure. Like, I le- Matter of fact, I left here, went to Sonic, and then it was immediate shambles <laughs> because I fucking pulled out of the fucking lot, and I'm like, dude, and I'm like, dude, it's dark, dude. What's going on? And I'm like doing this with the fucking uh, the little dongle. Pause, and I'm fucking like, dude, there's no lights. There's no fucking <laughs> lights in the Jenny, dude. So I have to pull over this fucking gas station and like the fuse is like gummy, dude. Like I was trying to fucking get it out and it fucking fucking like flubber, dude. No lights, dude. I'm getting pulled over, going to jail, dude. Expired reg. Fucking too old for this, dude. So <laughs> they like, you guys like left the hell. Like you yeah, got, you like got walked the out of the house. Yes, we got in the car. It was running. Yeah, you like stepped you in a puddle or something. I did. It was a foot deep. <laughs> yeah, I called back because he ended up giving me some weird shit. It looked like this, but like it was like thick. But anyways, I was able to get the fuse out, use a spare, and got it going. So I called Trevor uh, mad quick to be like, yo, don't come through. I'm, I'm good. Get this done and over with. This is going to be a little bit of a bitch because, like, this spark plug hole, th- if that's the front. I think that's the front. Had, like, fucking, it was filled. Like, look at the, look. Look at the floppy jammy from being soaked in oil. Oh. Or like, this is what they're supposed to look like. Stiff, young, and full of life. Dude, oh, this is my fucking, God, dude. This is 65-year-old fucking low T, dude. Oh, my God. That's it. <laughs> so I'm going to just have to fucking get new boots, dude. Oh, Jesus. What's fucked is I got new wires, and they came with those jammies, but i just too lazy, dude. I was, like, fucking going to work, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to change the wires because I have a misfire, but. Seems legit. Let me clean these wheels. We'll test fit them. All right. Got them all cleaned up. They definitely clean up nice I must say I am going to test fit the two good tires on the driver side here just so we could get a little visual and I'll be able to see if we need spacers maybe we need to change the tire size a little bit so yeah that's what I'm working on now meanwhile Damien is on the struggle bus right now with the oh. spark plug seals or whatever these are called it could be worse. It's just like, I have like every service record on this thing and I would have thought that like, I like, I know the valve covers were replaced. Or not the covers, but the, the gasket. But like the grommets come with the gasket like everywhere you go. So like, why wouldn't they just fucking replace these? Check this out. I get this on, I'm starting to dig it, right? I like the big diameter wheel. It's looking good. Then I'm like, wait a minute. Why aren't these lining up? So I'm looking in the holes and the wheels don't say it anywhere on the back. Honest mistake, he took them as a trade. They sat in the back of his garage. He never put them on an E36. He just assumed they were 5x120 because that's what the guy told him. The hub-centric part is perfect. Inside, it sits nice and flat against the actual E36 hub, as you can see. I have no lug nuts on it, and it's stuck on there beautifully. However, I don't know if you could see that, but the holes for the BMW pattern are like way out here and these are are way inside so funny story everybody um I can't even run the new wheels because they're not the correct lug pattern even though the post did say 5x120 like I said I'm not hating like I said I was kind of soaked I was actually quite pleased with the look of these and as you can see there they might not have needed a spacer I'm not sure what you're showing me here. Damien says, that we, I, yeah. I pushed this forward yesterday a little bit. Just open that passenger door. Okay. And look down. Open you the need, passenger is, door. You need, you need the first time All right. reaction to I'm this. I'm kind of scared. No. Dude, that's so nasty, dude. This car has Ebola. Holy fuck, that's gross. How is this possible? There's a lot of moisture in here. Dude, that is foul. Is that savable? I mean, yeah, you could fucking like simple green that bitch and leave it outside. Oh, like, I'm surprised. Like, I'm surprised the seats aren't like. Dude, that, that like, anywhere is... like you touch where there's like bacteria, that shit will grow. Oh it's, like, man, nasty enough yeah, to that do. ruddy. Your wheel is growing organisms. Yeah, there's a fucking full microbiome. Yeah, on dude, fucking. you have a that, fucking dude? fungus colony, Here, dude. dude. I got the fucking. <sighs> Oh, I don't even want to touch, dude. Don't even breathe near that. What kind of? Oh is this? God, D and D, dude. That's so nasty. 
Yeah, I think it's time to retire this, dude. I'm gonna just leave this in the corner. That's just so it doesn't fucked. like, like, cause this will spread in the car. Yeah, that's terrible. Put this, like, over Should here. we spray brake clean on it to like neutralize nah, cause it? I mean, if he actually still wants that wheel, it'll probably fuck it up. That's why I said simple green, cause it'll kill the fucking bacteria. All right, so I, this obviously isn't the exact way you're supposed to do this, but as you can see, that is four and a half exchange the wheels back for my money back so no harm no foul like i said i'm not offended at all honest mistake it is what it is he even said he'd meet me halfway i'm about to go bring these back to him it's a little bit sad just because i wanted to see him on the car in the engine bay oh dude what was that you're crushing your ac <laughs> no nah, you're just like fucking some other shit don't worry dude about not a big deal <laughs> I thought you said that was a major upsell on this thing, that the AC worked. Dude, your <laughs> foot is crushing the line going into the firewall, dude. Oh my god! Nah, dude, maybe it was just a fucking... No, the connector's still good. Some oh else, some my else, god. Well, it wouldn't be true Hagnair fashion without some of this. Yeah, this is Hagorn, dude. Hagnorn Orin. Yeah. Oh, she wants it. Come on, come on! There it is. It's a little rough. I hear a vacuum leak. And it smells like fuel really bad. See if the injectors are fucking leaking like... Hey, it's running again though. Not bad. Not bad. What is it? Injectors are leaking? Yeah, oh man, that's why the startup was hella rough. Oh, that reeks. No open flame in this area. Yeah, then no, we will no. we'll live up to our potential. <laughs> oh, yup, 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 yup. Yup, back one. Back one's wet. All right, I'm on my way to the agreed upon meet up location for the return of the wheels. And then after that, I gotta swing by AutoZone for Damien, see if they have an injector O-ring set, is what he's requesting me to grab him. Yeah, that's the plan right now. We'll see if the Forerunner, is it another day? Are we really milking the Forerunner for another day? Well, that was definitely an interesting experience. Got a cool drone. I definitely have a check engine light for something. You want to film that connector? Someone tell me what that connector goes to. It's on that side. We're here. It? Yeah. I don't know where that goes to. Help. I can't fucking find it. Just kind of chilling there. Yeah. Interesting. The KA's got a couple of those. I mean, this definitely did not have one of those. And I have a check engine light. I just don't have a scanner at the moment. Oh, Rudnick has a Bluetooth scanner. You have to like download the app and shit though. Oh, fuck that. It runs. I don't care. Fair. I'll fucking figure it out on Monday. Very fair. Are you calling this a job? Done though. Finally, ready to drive home. No more Jenny. Yeah. Sick. All right. Well, the other video, the Jenny side quest, is not complete. Unfortunately, as you could see here, the tail lights are stuck on, or the brake lights, I should say. Like car's not running, headlights not on, no foot on the brake pedal. Brake lights are stuck on. Damien thought he had this figured out. So this was the issue in the side quest video. As you can see, it is not resolved. Let's see, let's see. Do you have perfect form every time or is it a one-off thing? No, no, dude, you just gotta fucking. Perfect form every time. This man is upside down. So that was the legit fix this time. Yep. On S13s, that same shit happens because a little rubber thing falls out. So you just get a bolt, like a 10 mil, and you fucking put it in there, and then your brake lights don't burn themselves out. My fucking oil light is fucking flickering at low RPM. For why? It's never done that. I just don't understand what could make the fucking oil light flicker like that, unless there's just like some gunk there. I mean, there's. It's very possible that there's shit in the in the fucking thing. I'm still calling this a dub. The fact that I think it's fine. Yeah, I we think were it literally is just like a little piece of shit yeah, in front of the sensor or something. Definitely. 
Well, oh, will it start though? Will it start oh, jeez. Yeah, we brought the jump pack just in case. Classic fucking rod knock mod shop. Nah, your battery's donezo, dude. I was like, Damien, That's you think we should bring the other jump the pack lights, with us? The lights are still on inside, so it's, it's like 11 it's volts. Some charge. Yeah. yeah. Dude, is that there? Nah, I don't think so. Well, good thing we stopped here and they're open. I hope I, that that's not. They at sold that me. Level. They sold me a fucking yeah, but what oil if, change kit, dude. What if it's like a seven quart change and you only have five in it? I mean, that should still be enough. Maybe it was only doing that because we we're uphill. That's why it didn't do it when we were flat. It's possible. Let's see. Yeah, I think we need a little bit of oil. That's sketchy, <laughs> dude. We drove it across town three quarts low. No, it's probably no, like it's a quart and a yeah, half. Yeah, it's probably a quart and a half, something like that. I'm going to just buy two. Jesus, Damien. Yeah, this man gets sketchier by the day. So I'm just going to dump put this, this whole thing, thing in. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If I can get it open, dude. What'd you get? 5.30? Oh, 10.30? How much was that quart? $6, dude. No funnel, dude. Oh, he's smooth with it. Damn, clean pour, dude. Accuracy, 10 out of 10. I'm just guessing as well. Dude. I don't think you spilled any of it. Well, some of it will spill. Nah, dude. Clean pour. Let's check wow. That. I mean, I might have to go in there and buy one more, but I don't think so. Looking good? Is that, would you agree that it's like roughly it's at the dot, here? Yeah. yeah. The top end is much quieter. You're a sicko. I don't think a sport would do that. I think there's literally just some gunk in there. Get some nice beauty shots of this thing. Looking pretty good. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you, what are you doing? Ain't nothing going on here. Yeah, ain't nothing going on here.